Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the Memphis Audio M series of car speakers. There's a whole bunch of sizes to choose from. We're gonna get into the details here in just a minute. Let's go over the sizes first. We've got the MS42 is a four inch. There's also a four by six. Those are both two-way or coaxial speakers. Uh, there's a bunch that are convertible where you can remove the tweeter, so you can have the tweeter in the speaker or out of the speaker. Those are available in the MS52, it's a five and a quarter. MS62 is a six and a half. The MS60 is actually an oversized six and a half to fit some cars that have a larger opening. The MS57 and the MS69 are your oval-shaped speakers, five by sevens and six by nines. All of those have convertible tweeters. Then there's the MS60C, which is a dedicated component system. That tweeter is always mounted separately, comes with a larger, more robust crossover as well. And you can even buy the tweeter by itself. That's the MSA1, and it also comes with its own crossover. Let's talk about the common features of these speakers across all sizes. Uh, first off, they all feature a carbon fiber woofer. You can kind of see it right here. Uh, carbon fiber is a great material for a woofer cone because it's lightweight, it's rigid, and it's very durable. So you can throw a lot of power at it. It'll move in and out making bass without distortion. It's good, clean, strong material. Uh, that woofer cone is connected to the frame using a rubber surround, which just adds to the durability. The tweeters in the M-Series line are an aluminum alloy, which is good for plenty of power handling as well as incredible, sharp, detailed, high frequencies. So tweeters sound great, woofers sound great, and they sound great together. One of the things that keeps them sounding great is the separate crossover that's included with every single model. Uh, even the four inch with the tweeter that is not removable, it includes a separate crossover. Many speakers like this include a small capacitor on the back and its job is to just send the high frequencies to the tweeter. Uh, but Memphis is including a separate crossover with coils and capacitors to do a much more accurate job of sending the highs to the tweeter and the lows to the woofer. You might be wondering where would you put a separate crossover? You will have to find space for it. There might be room in your door or under your dash to put that crossover. Uh, and if you have enough space, you can even attach it to the back of the speaker itself. Memphis Audio includes an M clip, uh, which is a clip that mounts the crossover right here to the back of the magnet. There's also an L bracket. You've got options with where to put the crossover on the back of the speaker, or you could just mount it completely separately. It's really up to you what makes the most sense with your installation. Let's talk about these convertible models where you can remove the tweeter uh, and install it either separately from the woofer or together in the woofer like you see it there. Uh, it is removable and it comes with bracket so that you can mount it to your car either with a surface mount or a flush mount bracket so you can put your tweeter up in your sail panel in your door on your dash and get that separation from the woofer it's a true component system when you do that or you can leave the tweeter right here in the coaxial speaker and use it as a two-way if you remove the tweeter it does come with a phase plug which looks just like this uh, so that you can uh, cover that hole so that dust doesn't get down into the magnet and such as well so it's a very flexible speaker you can use it uh, in whatever way is best for your car. Removing the tweeter does save you a little bit of mounting height, meaning the speaker doesn't stick out as far. So if you're kind of tight on mounting height, uh, once you get your speaker mounted and you go to put your door panel back on, if you need extra space there, if you remove the tweeter, you'll save almost a half an inch of mounting height. So again, it makes it a more flexible speaker that works in more cars. Last but not least, uh, there is also a dedicated component system included in the M-Series. That's the MS60C. Uh, the tweeter in that one cannot be mounted in the woofer. It is a component system from the ground up. Uh, you'll see it includes a larger, more robust, better performing crossover, uh, and the tweeter definitely needs to be mounted separately. It comes with all sorts of brackets for flush and surface mounting, just like the tweeter does when you buy it all by itself. So if you're looking for new speakers for your car, the Memphis Audio M Series probably has a size and a solution that's perfect for you. If you want to talk with us about that, get in touch with us here at Crutchfield. Go to crutchfield.com slash contact. There you'll be able to speak live with one of our advisors either over the phone or chat with them online. We also look at the comments here on YouTube. So if you have a question, you can post it there and we will respond accordingly. And as long as you're here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you'll know when we put out another video. Thanks for watching.